I'm Anshul, I'm the co-founder and um, CTO at Neuromersive. Neuromersive is a virtual reality startup. Uh, we're creating a product for uh, stroke uh, and brain injury rehabilitation. Uh, essentially the goal is um, we, we're making stroke and brain injury rehab more fun. The underlying principle is that you know, virtual reality has a um, very positive impact on the brain in terms of the immersiveness. So it creates and makes people more uh, motivated to do therapy, which is one of the challenges with traditional therapy because it's, it's really boring and repetitive. Uh, so people generally don't uh, comply with the therapy that well. They will probably uh, give up you know, in the first few months because it's, they just don't enjoy it. That's where virtual art therapy really creates that element of enjoyment, fun and engagement. You know. Taiwan was initially introduced to, uh, to us by uh, Ausdred. Uh, so uh, we have a contact in, back in Australia. They introduced us to the Global Startup Talents Program and they said um, there's a, this is a program that might be worth um, looking into if you're interested in the Asian market. So we were lucky to be part of that uh, 25 group of companies and um, yeah, it was two weeks of just, um, just, uh, just phenomenal networking and speaking to really good relevant contacts and yeah. So this is my second time in Taiwan. Uh, the first time um, was not so long ago, two months ago. I was here as part of the Global Startup Talents uh, program. So this time uh, we specifically came for the Trans uh, MedTech Conference, uh, which is uh, sponsored by Foxconn, another Taiwanese company. They basically said, you know, we'd love you guys to come and come and be part of that Trans Conference, and here we are. Um, I, ca I, I cannot speak highly enough. I think before I came, I, I had, uh, you know, no conception of what the ecosystem is like, if there is an ecosystem. But on, during my last trip, I was simply blown away by how much support. It's just incredible, yeah. So before I came to Taiwan, I, uh, to be honest, I didn't really have any expectations. And since then, we've um, during the last trip, we had this certain avenues that came across and we had never, never thought about. For example, manufacturing uh, is one of them, you know, and Taiwan seems like it's, you know, it's, it's fantastic for manufacturing and the resources they have. Having uh, connections in the hospital industry, um, so running trials is one of our biggest um, challenges to have uh, hospitals and rehab centers who can, who can try our product to give us validation on the product. We currently have had a verbal agreement with the Taipei Medical University to commence trials in, in a couple of months. So that's been a big outcome for us. 100%, I think it's Taiwan is, is badly underrated for startups. Being to like uh, countries like US and Europe, I haven't seen such a good uh, support infrastructure for startups. So anyone considering expanding into Asia or any other part of the world, because Taiwan has very similar IP protection standards to Western countries. So that's a big, big advantage for us. Australia have been uh, phenomenal from both the Australian teams and more, um, more specifically the Taiwan team has just been phenomenal in facilitating introductions for us in within Taiwan. Uh, the Australian office organized uh, this wonderful morning tea event and that event itself was probably worth um, the cost of the entire trip. I think it was uh, it was just invaluable in, in terms of getting us the connections and the introductions and we're still um, you know, speaking to a vast majority of those people. I remember uh, the Australian team was, um, they sent us a list, uh, literally a spreadsheet of the contacts they invited to the morning team. I was going through the uh, the list and I was like blown away by the quality of, um, you know, the people that came to that event. Anything you want to get across? No, man. Come to Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs>